Hi, I'm Debbie Ellickson, and I'm going to talk about transmedia in the sense of uh, using multi-platforms to uh, tell the story, which is what transmedia is. And I'm going to use this book as an example. This is The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. And I don't, it's a classic, and I don't know if many of you, I'm, I'm sure most of you know the story. Um, you can Google it to find out more about it, but it's about a woman who was an adulteress, and it was, takes place back in Puritan Boston, where it was definitely a no-no to have an extramarital affair. So the townsfolk made her, one of the judgments against her was she had to walk around with a A on her chest, uh, symbolizing adulteress. So that's kind of the gist of the story. So with the aspect, oh yeah, and the other part about the story is that she had uh, a baby as well. And the heroine in the story, the woman with the letter A on her chest, her name was Hester Prynne. And her daughter is Pearl. So when you take the story of the Scarlet Letter, there's so many ways you can push this out as a multi platform storytelling one there's the book so this is one platform it's a physical book you can turn it into an ebook which is another platform you can turn it into a movie which is another platform heck maybe even a game and um or pin pin the a on on the the woman uh one of those uh, board games there's so many ways that you can flush this story out as, as the story itself, and you can break it down into, uh, into different elements. So, for example, if you uh, opened up a Pinterest board and you maybe had one of your boards was Puritan Boston, so you would look up all sorts of references that pick picture references that represent Puritan Boston or Puritan Massachusetts. You could look up, you can have another board of uh, sin could be that and then other examples of what a sin might be in some eyes. Adultery is another board you could have. There's biblical references in this book as well. And adaptations are another way of Kind of spreading out the story and some of those adaptations don't necessarily have to be exact to the original book as we've seen in other movies and, and adaptations of uh of other of other types of classic stories um, dracula is one of them where it has been turned into several different movies but not necessarily uh, taking different angles on it. Uh, the last one was Vlad the Impaler that I saw where that took a look at Dracula and the origin of how he got his powers. Then there's the uh, animated versions where you have Transyl Transylvania Hotel and all sorts of different types of versions of the same story but then you can take the different elements and besides the Pinterest board say where you can take all these different parts of the story and focus individually on those you can maybe take the characters and spread them separately so for instance in the uh, Scarlet Letter you could maybe start a Facebook page for the fictional character of Pearl, the child, and maybe have her view of the world and what she sees, maybe her view of today's world and what she might comment on some of the things that she sees. 
uh, you could create memes from the story. Uh, there are so many biblical references, but there, you know, you could <sighs> screenshot other aspects of the story and create memes from them and spread those around in various media. Um, there is terminology in this book as well that is very old, and you could probably do something with this uh, in the memes or in something else. Uh, patriar patriarchal personage, four score years ago, dearth of records, thou art, that type of language we don't use today, but back then, it, when we hear stories taken place in the 17th and 16th century that was very commonplace. So using the language and taking, taking the characters and pushing them out in different platforms, uh, people will know their fictional characters so you're not necessarily passing them off as original you know as a real person. Um, there are if you have, um, uh, a movie, uh, I'm, I'm just kind of thinking of the um, television show, uh, the TNT version of um, Dallas, the, the rebirth of Dallas, and Josh Henderson, who played um, John, John, John Ross Ewing, he, um, he has a Facebook page, but during the season, he would actually post in character on his page. Other times he wouldn't post in character. He would be posting, you know, various updates as to what he's doing as an actor. But during the course of that series, he would post in character. So those are kind of hints on how you can take a story and spread it apart. And I think fiction in particular is perfect for transmedia because you can break down the characters and and make them come alive in various platforms. So it isn't taking that same um, angle in each of those platforms to, uh, to tell the story. And the, um, the uh, aspect of uh, um, business, let's, let's take a look at business, for example. So using transmedia for, say, a pizza parlor. So you could focus, we see, we see, you know, um, Papa John's pizza, for, for instance, is he is the focus. The owner is the focus of, of all the media. He's the, the face of that company. So any media that is any pictures, any advertising usually has his photograph. So you could take various uh, employees with the company and also maybe make them the face of the establishment. You can use transmedia, um, have, have say Facebook contests and draw people in on a mailing list, have them sign up for something or have them maybe post a meme or have them do something to qualify for the contest. You can use Twitter to um, also uh, put a different kind of contest on. So there's different ways and to to break down the elements for business uh, product and business organization as well. One of the coolest things I heard um, or read somewhere was about a hotel company who their check-in the fellow that checks you into your room. There was one of the fellows that worked there and he was in charge of the Twitter account and what he would do, and he created quite a following because what he would do is he would update the guests on what's in the area and what was cool to see, but he had a little bit of humor with his tweets. So that's how he created the following. So you wouldn't necessarily be just, that's the facts, Jack, and just post it out. Um, for business, you wouldn't necessarily use the various platforms to, to just, you know, sell your product. You come up with clever, I clever ways of, uh, of, you know, punching it up. So if you're a writer, 
I always had this thought of, uh, uh, you know, you have mascots for, for, for teens. I always have this vision of uh, um, a paperclip uh, doll or some, some sort of uh, uh, these different, maybe a semi, a colon, semicolon, these, these characters that could come to life animated and uh, tell stories, maybe, maybe help kids learn about grammar and punctuation using these animated products. So, so these are um, just a handful of um, ideas where you can use various platforms. So, so when we talk about multi-platforms, we're talking, like I say, the book, the, the, the movie, uh, you could have a CD, you could have the music from the movie. There would be, uh, you know, Facebook, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn probably for a movie is not necessarily a, uh, the perfect platform, but maybe you'd have LinkedIn for the studio or the company that made the movie and maybe for some of the individual people that work behind the scenes in the movie. Um, you would have um, Pinterest for sure, Instagram, and also depending on your audience will depend on how strong you work in each of those platforms. So uh, for instance, if you're looking at certain generations like, a, well, of course a lot of us now are, are gravitating towards video like Blab and you could have interviews on Blab you could have um, interviews on Google Hangouts or Periscope. So if you are looking at uh, a younger audience, um, certainly Snapchat and Periscope are a couple of platforms you definitely want to be on Vine. Vine videos are great uh, to, to push out just a little different the ultimate goal of transmedia is to bring everybody to back to the main, um, the main product. So all these stories around the product, let's say this book is the main product, all the other things you want to draw them back into the book because you really ultimately want them to read the book or watch the movie. And that's really the purpose behind it. So we're going to do a transmedia talk every week and um, we'll take, we'll flush out a different um, aspect of transmedia. So what I wanted to talk to today was about the multi-platforms themselves and, um, and just how you would spread the story around so we can get a little more in detail and, and I plan to have uh, some people on as well who are, um, dabbling in transmedia want to know if anybody wants to quest ask a question uh they're certainly welcome to you can tweet me any questions and during you know in between and we can you know i can come up heck, with a blab just to answer your questions so um i thank you for watching and uh see you next thursday <laughs>